there are four massive crows in front of us and I fear they are gonna charge us in just a few seconds, so I think it's time to go for the shot on this legendary. Here we go, let's see what happens. Alright guys, today we're back on Emerald Coast to begin a trophy hunt on what I consider the top 5 best locations on the entire map. So get ready because on these spots we're gonna find plenty of animals and the odds of coming across some monsters are very good I would say. Ok, the first of the 5 locations we're gonna visit is this area close to the sanctuary where we can expect to find plenty of kangaroos, many rusa deer, sambar deer, hog deer, maybe some fallow deer, I mean pretty much every single deer species as well as the occasional stubble quail and red fox. I see something over there, a group of kangaroos, and there's a mythical, he's big, that's a big kangaroo. Man, I would love to get a hard shot on him, and it's actually not too hard as long as he goes alert and he stands up. Let's see, he should go alert really soon, and there he goes, he's gonna stand up. By the way, on this occasion we're using the 4570 lever action rifle, which as you could see is pretty powerful and kind of a neglected weapon. So we'll be shooting a lot of stuff with this beast today, and now I really wonder if we actually hit the heart on this kangaroo. And yeah, we hit a double long in the heart. He's not a massive kangaroo by any means, it is only a 414.02, which is far from diamond, but it's a decent start, and the best thing about this game is that you never know what you're gonna find next, so we gotta be ready. Alright, now we have a herd of sambar deer over there, we have a couple males, a couple level 3s, and they are actually less than 200 meters out, so we shouldn't have any problem to hit at least a single long with this 4570. In fact, I would love to drop them both, but since that one is broadside, I guess we're gonna go for it first. And I'm actually surprised he didn't die on the spot, I mean, he still went down, so we definitely got a barrel, but I feel the shot placement could have been better. And the same can be said about those two shots, actually we completely messed it up. Certainly that wasn't the plan, but the health is going down, so he's gonna die. I assume we hit the stomach or perhaps the intestines, because he went down relatively quick, although not as quick as if we would have hit a barrel. And yeah, we hit the intestines and the pelvis on the first shot, what a terrible shot, I promise you I'm better than this. Well, sometimes. And let's not talk about the second shot, which was somehow even worse. So I hope this one, which is the first one, gives us a reason to increase our confidence. I mean, we hit a barrel, but as I was saying, I feel we were about to mess it up because the shot placement was far from being the best. And in fact, we did hit a single long as well as part of the leg, which as you can see, decreased the penetration significantly and made it impossible to hit both longs. You know, we should have aimed more towards the center of the lung to avoid hitting that bone. So I think it's time to start increasing our accuracy on this hunt, and having a rusa deer almost 100 meters out seems to be the perfect scenario for that. Hopefully, we can reach a lung. Oh no! No! <laughs> we missed it up again. We should have let the shot way more because the thing about this rifle is that the bullets are quite slower compared to the rifles, hence these kind of throwing shots can be especially tricky. Oh. Well, that's another decent size 4. Max estimate of 128, no chance to be diamond though because as far as I remember the diamond score is 149 so he is relatively far. And seemingly we'll have an opportunity to shoot him here because he's not fleeing anymore. So let's make sure this shot is actually decent. You know we've been ruining quite a few animals recently, not a single trophy though, but at this pace we're gonna end up messing one up sooner rather than later. Well, hard to get an easier shot than that one, but we needed a good shot. I mean, after this kind of lame hits, you gotta make sure the same doesn't happen the next time, because it's very easy to get into this kind of bad streaks where everything starts to go wrong after a couple misses, and you clearly don't want that to happen when it really matters, you know, when you find a diamond or a rare. So just as we did here, about time, we finished with a streak of misses, we hit a double long on this guy, not too bad. Although the shot we still haven't been able to make is a viral hit on a moving target with this rifle, and there we have a level 3 rules at here, so we definitely gotta try here. And apparently this time we finally managed to lead the shot correctly because he went down really quick and I think it's safe to say that we did hit a long. Single long, in fact, barely, we clipped it. I tried to aim more far forward, but as you can see it was almost too much, so the next time I'll make sure to aim around this area to hopefully get a double long. 
Now, why forgot to mention that another weapon apart from the 4570 we're carrying on this hunt is actually one of my favorite weapons in game, which is the Rhino. It is a revolver with an insane penetration. It has, I believe, a hundred. Hence, it's hands down the most powerful handgun in game and an absolute beast at close ranges. So that little Rusa will get completely destroyed. And just like that. You know, this handgun is actually great to hunt things like buffaloes and moose, so you can imagine what it can do to these smaller animals. I mean, look at this, stomach, liver, right lung, left lung, we got everything. So we can expect a similar performance on Daro Erkai, although this one is a bit further, close to 150, hence I guess we should expect a decrease on the penetration, which I imagine won't be as extreme. But more than enough to drop him on the spot again. We probably didn't hear as many organs as the last time, but a nice clean double lung is also very decent. Oh, more animals over there. Let's see what is around the corner. Well, we ended up stumbling across another small rusa deer, nothing special, but he could actually respawn as something bigger. In fact, we need a diamond of this species, hence getting response is something we definitely need. So, can we hit the heart on this guy? Should be doable from this angle. And that definitely looked like a nice and clean hard shot. Alright, let's harvest this little guy before moving on to the next location. It was in fact a hard shot, a clean hard shot, we didn't hit anything else. You know, in terms of shot placement, it doesn't really get any better than this. So now it's time to finally move on to the next of the best locations on this map, which is a place that is full of many species, but the main one is the Banting. So we gotta make sure to bring some big and powerful weapons, because this region is full of these monsters. Oh, look. We just came across the first panting herd of the hunt, although they are all fleeing, except for a couple females. Well, never mind, that one just spooked as well. So there's only one remaining, which fortunately is close enough to drop them using the revolver, the rhino. Really good weapon to smoke these guys. And that should be a double long. Let's see if the hell goes down. Okay, 50 to 75, she's dying. I would like to hit a hard shot on one of the next ones, and in fact the rest of the herd is there. So let's see. Alright, that didn't look too bad, and she should go down, but the thing I wanna find is a male, and we haven't seen any. But well, talking about bulls, there's one over there, level 3, and I think this is a good chance to use the third weapon on our loadout, which is the 470. He won't go too far, I mean this rifle just as the Rhino also has a hundred penetrations, so when talking about guns that are capable of dropping these pantings, these two weapons are definitely on top. And as expected, the shot on the first female was a nice double long, and as you can see the penetration is insane with the Rhino, so I certainly expect a similar performance on the shot we took on the male, except that this time it was with the 470. And yeah, we hit a nice double long stomach and liver on the first shot, crazy penetration. So what I want to do now is try to find a monster banting, because since the map got released, we haven't gotten a single level 5, all our diamonds have been level 4s, and I think it's time to finally get that monster. Okay, now we got our eyes on another bull, probably not a level 5, but maybe decent. Level 3. So can we get a hard shot on him? We definitely gotta try. And we definitely did. Now is the turn of that cow. Well, I've no idea of how many times we hit her, but what I'm sure is that we lost the full score. Oh, and there are more over there. Another bull, another level 3. It's certainly not a diamond potential, but the bantings pay very well, so it's never a bad idea to kill as many as possible. And he won't go anywhere. So as for the first one we shot, we know we hit the heart, and actually we also hit a double long, so very decent shot. And as for the second one, which also died pretty quick, we hit a double long in the liver, as well as the neck. Oh my gosh, it went through the scapula and hit the lower neck. Oh, hello. You got some decent horns, I gotta say. I honestly thought you were gonna be bigger though, not an exciting estimate. I'll be really surprised if he runs for more than 3 seconds, we destroyed it. And that's a fox, a female. So I frankly don't have high expectations for this level 4, he actually looks more like a big level 3, and he's actually not too big, 123.82, single long on the first shot, and double long on the second one. Now that's a red right hurt, 
and there are even more fitting over there including a level 6. You know, I would actually like to try something special with the Rhino, something that I've been wanting to do since the map came out and we haven't done yet, which is essentially taking a long range shot with this powerful handgun ideally close to 300 meters. So can we hit him from here? I think it's safe to say that this revolver has enough penetration to go through both lungs at this distance, we'll see. Let's try there. And... Seems we hit a barrel, oh my gosh. Oh, level 7 over there. I gotta say I'm surprised by how quickly this guy went down, I mean that really looked like a double lung. And in fact the penetration was enough to reach both lungs, which is actually impressive because this handgun is meant to be used at short ranges and the fact that it is able to perform just as good as a lot of the most powerful rifles at this distance really tells you how good this revolver is. So now we can say we concluded with the hunt on this second hotspot on this southeastern region, and even though we didn't find any diamond, we definitely came across a lot of animals. Ok, the next location we're gonna visit is one of the most popular areas on this Emerald Coast, which is the entire Outback region, and there are many reasons to be excited before visiting this area, because it is absolutely loaded with kangaroos, feral coats, there's also a strong presence of red fox and stubble quails, so we may finally come across a diamond potential here. No way. We wanted a diamond potential, there we have it. Level 9 Kangaroo. His top estimate goes up to 507 and the diamond score is 492, so he may have a chance to be a diamond. Although I think it's safe to say that only one of every 5 level 9 kangaroos makes diamond. So the odds are not in our favor and I don't wanna get my hopes up too much. I mean, there's still a chance, you never know. Unless we completely messed it up there, which I think is likely because I feel we aim too low. Well, there's actually some hunting pressure there, which is certainly a good sign. And there's a herd of goats over there, feral goats. None of them seems to be especially big. Well, there's a level 4 that may be big enough to be a gold. So the question is, can we hit a viral using another of the weapons we are carrying today, which is the 44 Magnum? Should be doable, let's see. Well... And apparently we got him good the second time. You know, this handgun is like the weaker version of the Rhino, but the main advantage it has is that it covers class 3, I'ma try to hit that one, let's see. Not the most accurate shots right there. Oh, alright, look at that. All the goals running this way. How many can we hit here? I'ma try to hit at least 2 or 3. Let's try to get a second. And that one seems to be the perfect candidate. And that's it, she's down. Now since they are running to the southwest, we may be able to get a third one. First hit. Second hit, come on, none of those was viral. And she will die. So I'ma harvest the level 4 goat we shot first, and then we're gonna go see if the kangaroo is actually diamond. Oh, what is this? Little display bug, but the truth is that we ended up hitting every single organ, we destroyed it, entirely. And now it's time to see if this legendary kangaroo is big enough. Oh, more kangaroos, another troop, and a level 7 potential gold. So can we hit the heart? I would like to. Let's see, he will stand up and we're gonna go for it. And that's it, he's down. Hard to know if it was a hard shot, but the shot placement looked about right. Okay, so now we are not gonna get distracted anymore and we're finally gonna harvest this level 9 kangaroo. I'm just gonna take a picture because this position is just amazing, we literally made him hit the dust. So the question is, is he a diamond? Let's see. 481.32, he's a troll. I was really excited to finally get a diamond this hunt, but we'll have to keep looking because these kangaroos are just... I'm not gonna say it. And we were in fact very close from messing it up, we barely got the lever. So I assumed the shot on this level 7 was way better. And yeah, we got a hard shot in a single long, not too bad. Oh, look. Another herd of goats, and there's a decent sized level 4 on it. Seems to be slightly bigger than the last one, and he's in a good position to drop him using the 44 Magnum. I will try to hit a double long. And seemingly it was a good hit, he's going down. He's dead. 
I'm not gonna lie, it's been a long time since the last time I used this handgun before this hunt and I gotta say I'm really happy with its performance, I think the penetration is amazing and as I said before it's like a weaker version of the 454 Rhino. Man, I gotta try to hit that Rue with the Rhino. Just like that. Oh, we actually hit it only once, which is weird, because I felt the second shot was good, although maybe she died like an instant before the second shot and it didn't count it. More kangaroos! I mean, this area is just fantastic. If you wanna find plenty of these guys, this outback region is definitely a must check location, that's why I included it on this top 5. So let's see if we can drop at least two of them, we gotta try. Alright, one down. And the second one is also going down, so we got a viral. Now I'ma change to the rhino and let's see if we can hit that female. She's getting far. And... Well, frankly, a rifle would have been a better choice for this situation. And here we got a female we shot second, I believe. We hit only the liver, not a great shot placement on this one. Although the shot on the first one was way better, hard shot and single long. Hey guys, I honestly had a blast shooting all these kangaroos and feral goats and I would love to continue, but I think it's time to head over to the next location on this top 5, which is actually one of the most dangerous areas on the entire map. Man, this place is scary. A level 5 crocodile over there, which I fear may go aggressive very soon. So I'ma avoid getting into any trouble and I'ma shoot him here. Alright, should be double long, decent start. Yeah, 50 to 75 health, he's gonna die soon. And certainly the terrifying thing about this place is that it's flooded with crocodiles. Like literally, you can get attacked at any moment from any angle and he's just very dangerous. Oh, and as you can see, that guy is aggressive, level 7. He's not moving, but I just realized there are even more on the back. And I guess the best we can do is to decrease that number in case we get attacked by multiple of them, which can happen. Not the best shot, not even sure if that was a viral. Oh my gosh, there are like five right there, and there's a mythical. And I wonder if that was a hard shot, we dropped them. Now I'm honestly kinda scared to go there, there are just so many crocs, so if we can drop that level 6 as well, you'd certainly decrease the danger. And really poor shot, we messed it up. My intention was to hit the neck by the way. So as for the level 5 we shot first, we got a nice double long, and I wanna see if we actually hit the heart on the level 8. Just gotta be careful here, because we know this place is really dangerous, and sometimes these crocs even come out of the water to attack you when you least expect it. So I'ma harvest this mythical quickly, and in fact it was a double long and a hard shot. Alright. I think we're about to get attacked. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh. He wants to eat us. I won't let him do that. Not today, we got him good. Luckily we saw this guy on time and we had time to react, but who knows if we're gonna be as lucky next time. Oh. I thought she was aggressive, she's fleeing. Oh damn. I lost my breath, but we got her. Alright, there's something there. And he's coming in, fast! No, don't touch me. Oh! Well, another exciting encounter to the list, and there are more. Can we hit that one? Apparently not in the water, unless we try going for the next shot. And that's it. Now, I really don't like the way that guy is watching us, she wants to kill us, for sure, and I've no plans to let that happen, so I'ma use the bow. Should be viral, 50 to 75, she's dying, and this may be our chance to get a second hit. Maybe not, she's on the wall now. And now I think it's very clear why this area is one of my favorite locations on Emerald Coast, it is simply littered with crocodiles. And actually, the only reason why I didn't place this area on the top one is essentially because of the amount of mangroves that there are here that essentially reduce the visibility. And that is certainly a downside that is not present on the next location we're gonna visit, which in my humble opinion is the best hotspot on Emerald Coast, the hottest hotspot. Nice level 5 right there, almost 100 meters out. 
And I would like to hit an egg using the 4570. Let's see. Please stop. I'm simply gonna shoot you, I mean. What about that? Next shot. You know, the next shot is undoubtedly the best way to drop a crocodile or a gator since it's very easy to hit and easy enough to drop them on the spot. Oh, alright. A nice level 7 resting. And a level 9. No way. A legendary crocodile with a top estimate of 182 potential diamond. And frankly, I'm not gonna lie, I would love him to go aggressive here. I want him to attack me. Is he gonna leave the area though? Apparently he wants, he wants to go to the water. Although now he's coming back. But he's alarmed, he's about to flee. I think he's gonna spook guys, that's unfortunate, he's swimming away now. He's leaving the area. And that level 7 will pay for that. Hard shot, nice. Oh, actually the 9 is still near the surface. Hama tried to hit him. But it's too late. We'll have to reset the time to be able to see it again. Now we are back on the zone where we sat the level 9 for the last time and we're already 100 meters away from him, he's right there. Surrounded by many bodyguards, I mean there's a mythical, I believe that one is a level 5, so there are many crocs around him that could charge us at any moment, therefore getting close to this guy will be rather risky. But the plan is still the same, I wanna get this guy with a bow. Man, we are very close now, probably around 40. And luckily he's still calm, but that could change very soon. There are four massive crows in front of us, and I fear they are gonna charge us in just a few seconds, so I think it's time to go for the shot on this legendary. Here we go, let's see what happens. Oh my god. Was that a viral? Okay, 50 to 75, it was a viral. That's a dead croc. And apparently we are safe now. So now the question is, is this legendary crocodile the first diamond of the hunt? Let's see. No! He's a troll. A thousand and three point seventy six. He is not even that close.